In the beginning, the world was subjugated by chaos. Then, the Keepers came to be torchbearer, shaper, and judge. The three fought the spawn of chaos, and ultimately, they prevailed. Chaos could be banished, but it could not be destroyed. So the Keepers weaved a veil with their own essence and stood guard. The world was now safe, but it was also empty and meaningless. Thus, the Keepers reached beyond the veil. They seized the power of chaos itself. They gave it shape and purpose. They created life, and man was their most perfect creation. But all life would eventually hear the call from beyond the veil. Thus it happened that, alongside life, death also came to the world. The great cycle was set in motion. Yet chaos hungered for more and sought to undo the Keeper's creation. The spawn of chaos struck, wounding the Keepers and tearing the veil. Endless droves of horrors trespassed into the world. And so came the solstice of souls. Hurt and weak, the Keepers charged man with defending the world. They inspired man to fight fire with fire, ferocity with ferocity. Driven by the infinite wisdom of the Keepers, man turned the very power of chaos against it. Through sacrifice and resolve, a breed of sacred warriors was created. Three were wounds in the essence of the Keepers. Three, the mighty battles fought and won by the champions of man. Three, the sacred cities that were built in those hallowed places. Eventually, the solstice of souls was put to an end. The three cities still stand to this day for the glory of the Keepers. While the memory of the sacred warriors has been lost to time. But while the mortal body must perish, that which is immortal is bound to be reborn. too enthusiastic. Someone here is more than eager to welcome us. It began here somehow. What could unleash such immense power? If we survive, we might find some answers. Now let's focus on destroying these things.
yourself. Set a small tear. Not that the world's veil ripped apart. Look, there, above the cathedral. Ilden. One of the three capitals. The seat of the torchbearer. Once the light of the kingdom. Now it burns. I can't do this. Why the others and not here with the other chimeras? I'm not ready. We are not ready. To them, we are just briar and loot. The outcasts. I see. This is our chance to prove ourselves. We can't waste it. Anyway, uh, we're late. Can you sense the others? The echo of the dead is just too strong. It fills my senses. Loot, you need to focus. Open the veil must be powerful. Let's look for our observer. He should be able to tell us more of what transpired here. Then we best find him quickly. Chase. 
choices. Taking the weakest first, turning them on the strong. It is needlessly cruel. I know all too well how chaos corrupts and kills. I'm sorry, sister. I didn't mean... We have more important tasks than mourning those we can't save. We will save. Do not forget. This city has been dead for years. Yielding is no more loot. We better get used to the idea. Judge's mercy, then. was like moth to a flame. They can't resist the lure of life. Even though it comes from us. Observer. The sooner we get to him, the better.
must be him. Loot. What is this place? I don't know. It seems like we crossed the veil this time. Then we must find a way to go back. One done. must perish. That which is immortal is bound to be reborn. But the Shaper had no hand in your creation. Did he, sweet sisters? You're our observer? I am Leighton. I am here to assist you. How exactly? An observer's talents won't be of much help in this fight. Oh, I fight for the Order of the Ashen Blade in my own way. My presence here is proof enough of my worth. You, on the other hand, are said to be unstable, unruly, and unwilling to follow orders. Our fame precedes us. Why do you taunt us? Your shade is speaking. And to me, how quaint. Somehow, your authority as an observer is not enough to silence her. What happened here? A tear opened, clearly. Its cause is unknown, but it's the largest yet seen and, I do believe, getting larger still. I doubt the Order will be able to hide this one from the masses. And once it was open? Many were corrupted. Others were possessed. They saw to the rest. The Order did not foresee it this time. That is why you were called. You and your two comrades. Three chimeras. At least the Ashen Blade is sparing no effort now. Well, two chimeras. And you. So caustic. Where are the others? Strangely, those two did not wish to wait for you. You 
you should hurry. Find them and help them. If you can. <laughs> Don't scowl at me. I can offer powerful assistance, if you do well. Then let us pray you remain safe. Indeed. May the torchbearer light your way. May the dead show you mercy. And may the Shaper grant you fortune in this life. If that's what you can call it. The freight elevators will take you where you need to go. Good. Perhaps you will prove us all wrong. I will be watching. You make fun of us. But what do you even know about our kind? That the Order forges the Chimeras, much like your big sword. Let us hope you're not brittle or blunt. We're not weapons. We're people. I find that argument quite hard to sustain in your current predicament. Anyway, each Chimera is born of a union of two different souls. And each one develops their own abilities in a most peculiar way. I am truly eager to find out what the two of you can do. This is your first time with us as our observer. Indeed. I must have committed some horrible sin to deserve it. <laughs> oh, don't be so touchy. You'd better get used to my witty remarks anyway. Just as I'll have to accept that I'm stuck here with you. To everyone their penance. So we have the grumpy, the witty, and the wise. A well-assorted team indeed. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. If you say so. We've dealt with other tears before, but none as massive as this. Definitely not the doing of a few rampaging wraiths. They're always ripping and gnawing at the veil from the other side. Relentlessly. Indeed. But something else must have happened here. We must find out what it was. Leighton, tell us the truth. How can you survive the dangers of this city? Oh, I rely on my gunning first and foremost. But I also have this pendant. It emits a sound that hides my aura from those that would prey upon it. <laughs> I can hear it, and I can't stand it. I can hear your jingling as well, in spite of my corrupted blood. I am so glad to hear it. It means that I have nothing to fear from the two of you. For the time being, at least. to find me.
freight elevators. Someone blocked them. But that would stop the people escaping. Exactly. They left on their precious ships and left the rest to die. That way, they made sure they'd escape. So cruel. Letting others die so they could live. And yet they all died anyway. Cowards. Yes, despite my weakness. That power was immense. It's not your fault. Then whose fault is it? You saw... I almost... If I gave in to the corruption inside me, you'd be lost. I won't allow it. You resisted. No other Chimera could have done that. No other chimera with a damned corrupted as a knight, you mean. Sister, that was an insanely powerful aura. And there's something else. I could sense there were two chimeras at the source. I felt their strain, their suffering. They pushed themselves to their limits. It was like a scream in my head. But then all of a sudden, they were gone. Both of them. Are you certain? I can't sense either of them now. And the other aura, it's gone too. Not for good, I'd wager. We might be the only ones left to fight it. Be on guard then. We may have to deal with it sooner or later.
We can shatter them if we work together. Let me focus my energy. Mattered. The guards sealed the gates, trapping the people inside. They tried to contain the corrupted and failed. See what happened. Never seen the knights acting like this before. Me neither. Whatever's in there must be really valuable. You try to steal it then. I'm staying here. Whatever it is, it feels like the judge's breath on my neck. Shut up, they'll hear you. Soldiers, the next one of you who speaks will be flogged. 
The one after that will be hung. The one after that, courted. Have I made myself clear? Good. Soldiers of the Order? They were afraid. Yes, but not of the Knights, regardless of their threats. Easy now, easy! Not my choice to come this way, is it? I like it no more than you do. Settle down. Even the animals were restless. They could sense the danger too. This echo is so vivid. But the dead are screaming all around us. But this cuts through it all. It left a deep scar on the ether. That scares me the most. Halt! In the name of the Triarchy and the Shining City of Elden! The Ashen Blade? Huh. What is your business here? We carry a gift. From the Grand Master of the Order to the High Clergy of Elden. Is that all? We are expected at the Cathedral of Guiding Light. We have no advance notice of your arrival. You can't just show up and... Our papers speak for themselves. Here. Now let us in, if you care for your useless job and your worthless life. Just let them in! It's not worth dying for! F -f fine uh, Good, good sir. Uh, of course. You may pass. May the torchbearer light your way. Well, this is the City of Light, is it not? Now I understand. The aura I feel. The one that left this echo. Came from inside that armored carriage. Can you tell me what was inside? I can't see inside. The carriage is lined with something. It's dulling my perception, so this was done on purpose. By someone who knows the Order, who knows its secrets. You mean. Us. The Chimeras. I think so. That carriage is at the heart of whatever happened here. Then we have to find it. And soon, whatever it's doing here might not be finished. There may be no one here, but I'm not letting my guard down. We need to get past it. Simple. We just need to come back to sword and spirit. Sister, let me help. We can do this.
this we can't pass through here no there is a way I feel it I know that sound and who's making it What if this is all part of the Keeper's grand design? The cleansing fire of the Torchbearer. The Judge's mercy. A chance for the Shaper to craft this city anew. One can't help but wonder. Isn't it sacrilege for any but the bishops to guess? True. But most of the clergy here are dead, so I doubt they mind. Though, something else piqued my curiosity. Did you feel that shockwave? We did. Tell me about it. Did you manage to track its source? It originated from the cathedral, but... I was conferring with your knight. But I suppose it's too much to expect silence from you, isn't it? Judge, have mercy on me. Speak, then. I sense the two other chimeras. I think they're dead. Dead because of someone or something they were fighting against. The shock all was a result of their clash. Then. They were all gone. It is most troubling. That is all you have to report. Yes. Our predicament just got a lot worse. But fear not. The Order of the Ashen Blade sent word that reinforcements are on the way. My good friend Corvo here brought the good news. Meanwhile, we are ordered to continue to follow the plan. Empty words. So let your actions fill them with meaning. Proceed towards the tear. Stay alive and look for the other chimeras. Or what's left of them. Before we joined the Order, we knew nothing about all this. I bet that even the preacher at the village didn't have a clue. He had been taught and told what he needed to attend his flock. What good would it have been to him to know what we're up against? The truth can be... complicated. Scary. Especially to the common folk. So it is up to us to guard the veil, by keeping chaos at bay. So that everyone else does not have to worry about it. And fattening up simpletons with fancy stories is part of the plan, is it? Do not underestimate the power of a good story, Briar. The faithful believe that their souls cross the veil upon death. Oh yes. All souls are judged, cleansed and shaped into new life. It's the divine work of the Keepers, the cycle ever renewing itself. 
An empty promise of a vague reward in the next life. Just what cowards and weaklings like to hear. You were like those people once. Why do you blame them? They need a meaning, a purpose. They need to be protected. I can't see how we can protect them from this. Do your job, and we may still have a chance. Those corrupted. I can still sense something in them. Something human. You may find traces of their past selves in them, it's true. But remember, when a ray feasts upon its prey, its taint spreads irreversibly. Your dear sister is the exception that proves the rule. Remember, undoing these wretches is an act of mercy. Do not hesitate. Your crow, how did it get here? On his dark wings, I assume. But it's an educated guess. You know what I mean. It should have succumbed to the corruption, or to its monstrosities. You shouldn't be so surprised. Crows are blessed by the torchbearer, after all. Um, I remember the stories. About them leading the torchbearer to the souls of the departed. Unscathed and undisturbed. Gorvo is even safer than me here. I wish I could flit about as well. Merrily, not a single worry on mind. May the Shaper guide your hand. Why can we tell him about the Gondos? You said it yourself. If a greater scheme is in the then no one is beyond suspicion. His aura is difficult to reach. It's hard to be sure of him. We can only trust ourselves. Let's figure this out. Together. Impressive contraption. Couldn't have just made a normal bridge. That one is damaged, but the others are intact. Cross this thing. After all that, I'm not sure I like where this is going.
looks like a prison. I wonder if they knew what was going on outside. That's unlikely. And even if they knew, I doubt that they let anyone out. It will be up to us to liberate them. I fantasized about visiting Ilden as a child. One should always be wary of what they wish for. It's easy to get lost in this place. It was built on the bridge. It must have a way out on the other side. now share a tormented fate. We have to keep going. If it gets me out of this terrible room. survive. Perhaps this will help. A new weapon. I believe you've earned it. The Order of the Ashen Blade rewards its servants. did have an obsession with modern engineering here. This place is littered with all sorts of contraptions. Elden was the commercial heart of the holy kingdom of Kadas. People, goods, money. They had to devise new ways to move them in, out, and across the city. It saddens me to think that all went lost. Who knows? The bay won't go anywhere. Once this is over, someone else may even reopen the trade routes. Unless this is the end of the world, that is. We've encountered the wraiths. It was only a matter of time. Ah. The lost souls who refused to follow the light of the torchbearer. So wicked that the judge cannot redeem them. So monstrous that the shaper... Do we have to listen to the whole sermon? You can die a miscreant if you like. But remember, race maintain a strong bond with what lies beyond the veil. You won't be able to see them with your good eye, let alone hit them. Luckily enough, we are more than human.
May the Shaper guide your hand. Seal it. We might not have enough time. Soon it will be too strong to seal. There will be nothing to do. We can't wait for reinforcements. We're on our own in there. If strikes as true as his tongue. Thank <laughs> you. 
the way is blocked. There must be another way into the city. We did it, sister. Sister? Are you well? Yes. But it was far stronger than I could imagine. It must have been a formidable opponent, even as a human. to get easier between there and here. I've never seen the crystals grow like this. It's as if they have grown roots. We have to get rid of it. of it is solid, but these roots look brittle. We focus on those first. Quickly. find out. We need to start this thing again. Possessed it. How can we 
Leighton is here. I think I'd rather fight the possessed again. Getting larger and larger. Does the Triarchy even know what is happening here? Only at the highest echelons. It is in their best interest, after all. Word of Ildin's fall must not circulate freely. That's it? They have no say in this destruction? We are their protectors and their wardens. They are happy to leave such a crisis in our hands. Slothful and oblivious. They're in for some rude awakening. I spotted a slasher on my way here. I assume you have already dealt with the possessed before. Yes, but I expected that it'd be longer before they showed up here. Indeed. Only the strongest wraiths can possess a living host. And it takes time. The dare must be speeding the process somehow. Be on your guard, sisters. I expect you to find many other possessed on your way to the cathedral. May the Shaper guide your hand. We're done. Formations do spread like an infestation. As long as I can shatter them, I'm good. Let's go. The crystal is no more. Reinforcements have arrived. How can they be ahead of us already? 
Something can say. I'm sure it is a chimera, but I can only feel a little aura. What does that mean? No shape. There's only one chimera it can be. And he's right above us. Let's hurry then. I expect to see you here in Hellman. I'm Loot, and this is Briar, my Sith. I know who you are. And I know that you're not up to the challenge that awaits you. We didn't exactly volunteer for this mission, you know. I am well aware of it. You are not just lambs sent to the slaughter. You're no ordinary Chimera, and that makes things much more complicated. Care to explain? As I said, I know who you are, what you are, Briar. A corrupted? You may as well say it plainly. Sister, I don't think that Sir Donovan meant it. Now, I know how burdensome gossip can become, believe me. But your condition, it implies that you both carry a grave responsibility. Is this about the tear in the sky? Exactly. It drives the spawn of chaos to trespass into our world. But it also calls to us chimeras. And the call must be especially strong for you two. You must be careful. You won't meet death, but transcendence. Losing yourself to the chaos coursing through you. So it's true. Not just some sort of legend to scare the troops. For us chimeras, it's a fate far worse than death itself. Is that what happened to those who came before us? Let us hope they simply passed away. Now, we should get back to the mission. We need to clear the way ahead. I suggest that we split up to cover it all. For the rest of the reinforcements joining you? The... Reinforcements. Yes. Agreed. We will meet again within the walls. Torchbearer, light your path. Thank you, sir. We will do our best. Not the time. Yet. 
Don't let that fear take hold, Loot. Otherwise, we will truly be lost. I'll do my best. At least we're no longer fighting on our own. training.
It looks like we did. It looked... enough. I've got enough splinters in my fingers for today. You get to carry them home. Loot? Every time. Can't you help just once? Loot! Get back here! from the forest for, for Mother. I was always dreaming, so Briar had to be the responsible one. You always use the same hiding place. You'll always find me. That's the idea. You should be doing your chores. Will you tell Mama? <laughs> no. I got enough firewood, but next time... What were you doing? Well, that is everything I know. This! I chose only the most beautiful flowers. You like it? Mama will like it. Oh, I made it for Papa. Our oh, Papa? You're mocking me! No. No. He likes my strings of rabbits, so why not your wreath of flowers? Your rabbits are useful. You'll think this is silly. No, it's not. You made it, so he'll love it. I... Thanks. I... I hope so. What was that? I'm not sure. Cries? From our village. Let's go back, Lute. Stay close to me. It was always peaceful under that oak, my sanctuary. But not this day. I know this day. Nothing can save us. It's 
so close. I'm closer. I can almost... Something's wrong. Mama! Papa! No! Marie! We can't stop now. Stay close to me, Lute. Judge, have mercy. I... I don't want to see it again. Something is over there. Was that <sighs> my head? Please be still. You need to recover. That was a strong threat we faced, and may yet face again. Don't bite your tongue to spare me. I took a risk. I know it. Donovan warned us. What if we had transcended? We didn't. That power saved us, Lute. We need it. Donovan said that it was dangerous. That we aren't ready. I say we will be. I can learn to control it, Lute. Trust me. I... I am sure that you will do your best, sister. But tell me... When you passed out, 
Do you remember anything? I was caught in a nightmare. I was home before. You were still alive, Lute. I'd almost forgotten it. The oak meadow. I miss the smell. You were there? Inside my mind? I was with you. I saw what you felt. We bear our pain differently. And yours runs deeper than even you know. <sighs> you need not bear it alone. We are stronger together. Some things are my own. Some things you should not have to see. Sister. Anyway, we have wasted enough time already, Loot. We must... Seal ourselves for battle. They're coming. Good. They'll see what I... What we are capable of. You're with me? Always. Show yourselves, you wretches. Nothing like this before. It's intoxicating. If we can control it like this, it will. We might... Transcend? Lose ourselves forever? We'll be careful. We'll wield it, not let it control us. Agreed? Yes. Yes. We'll be careful. for the side point. We're such a crowded city. Whatever happened here, it could only end with disaster. It's no use to dwell on these thoughts now. We must reach the tear.
wild things. We need to keep away from them. Dear sisters, it seems you're not dead. If I had been able to place a bet, I would have lost. Crows, alas, are poor company for a betting man and worse for conversation. I don't understand where this is going, but I doubt I'll like it. Um, regale me with a tale about the formidable possessed you faced. You were watching. I am an observer after all. Anyway, it looked like it might not go your way for a moment. It was not easy, but we prevailed. That's what matters, isn't it? I wonder what happened that turned the battle in your favor. Not everything can be learned in Doran's training grounds. It's hard, but we learn quickly. Or you're just running faster towards your inevitable demise. If there's nothing else, Donovan awaits us. You met Sir Donovan the Shadeless. Scouting ahead before the rest of the reinforcements reach Ildan. Has he not reported to you, Leighton? No. Not yet. He's a veteran. He doesn't answer to a dear observer. I suppose you envy him, Briar. A battle hardened knight. A lone wolf. Follow him in battle, by all means. But remember, you do answer to me. <laughs> Leighton, I do not mean to judge you, but all this death, this devastation, you sound so distant and indifferent. Composure is instrumental to my efficiency as an observer. Such fine words to justify that you just don't care a hang. Aren't you the tough one? Or are you just pretending that you have a thick skin? You both need that and a clear head to survive here. We have plenty of both. Don't you worry, Observer. The way you speak, it sounds weird. Where are you from, exactly? 
It is not weird. I take pride in my accent from the fair city of Rhyme. Our wondrous capital city. Arts and literature drive the lives of the citizenry there. Quite the difference from this den of peddlers and smugglers. All the nitty-gritty pragmatism that is so typical of Doran. <laughs> I didn't think you could get so heated for something so trivial. Says the ones who hail from an insignificant village in the woods. May the torch bearer light your way. He was bluffing. I don't believe he even knew Donovan was here. I am more trouble, but he wants us to spy on him. So that's what he meant. I like him less and less. The Order has too many secrets. He'll get no more from us. seen anything like it. It looks like a shockwave, frozen in crystal formation. But more than that, it's infused with traces of a powerful aura, an echo. The one from the convoy? Yes, I'm sure. It came through here. Whatever happened here left this behind. I want to know what it was. Can this be? We were betrayed. They used us. They sent us to our death. Ah! An explosion. It was massive. I can see that. So our trail ends here. It does not. I recognize an aura. The one I felt on the bridge. It caused the blast as it broke free. I couldn't tell before because of the lead carriage. Now I'm sure. This is what the other chimeras fought. Fought. And lost. What is this thing, Loot? A wraith could not have been caged in the first place. It must be possessed. Even stronger than the one we faced earlier. But why did they bring it here? Did they even know? They did as they were told. They were slaughtered. Or they were... sacrificed. We need to find out why.
such a vulgar display of power. Did you even dispose of them? We were just having some fun. Anyway... Either they got blasted, or they lie dead beneath the rubble. Seems like it. But I'd like to know what hit us in the first place. I can feel a distant aura. A new one. It's fading, but it's not gone. Then we should be safe. At least for a small time. I hope so. But what about Leighton? He was on the bridge with us. Do you feel his presence? No. I can't feel him among all the dead. Should we look for him? I bet he resorted to his talents. No doubt he'll turn up.
enemy. Will the canal be enough to stop them? Let's not wait to find out. I think it's going to consume the city before we can stop it. I hope not. But the bigger it gets, the stronger its power. Whatever attacked us, it must feed on these dark energies. And it was able to catch us off guard. Didn't you feel anything? Not until it was too late. It's like they hid themselves on purpose. So that means they could still be hunting us. We must be ready for anything. What is that? Unstable warps in the ether. They respond to my aura. Stay clear, sister, if you can. Itching for a fight. <laughs> Sewers. No better for the stench of death. They look to be fast. A home for outcasts and criminals. Until yesterday. What will we find down here now? Nothing good.
sister. Ue. I feel a strong aura nearby. This one may be a challenge. That sound. No greater proof of latent survival. Well met, Observer. Lute feared the worst about you. While you encouraged her not to lose hope, I'm sure. In a way. Do you know what did this to us? I must apologize. I have no insight to offer there. It's clear it was no random explosion. And that's not the end of the bad news. There's no sign of Corvo anywhere. He must have perished in the blast. Whatever happened to him, we're cut off from the Order now. But reinforcements must be on their way by now, yes? And Donovan's here. Oh, yes. You had best find him. We have no other option than to regroup. I'm sure his help will prove invaluable. It seems you fear for your life, Observer. You're even eager to cooperate with the Shadeless. Much harder to fulfill our duties if we all end up dead. But in that regard, I also have something for you. A gift. It should help you stay alive a little longer. I'm 
sorry about Corvo. I hope he is well. It was just a duel. A useful one at that. But no pet or companion to me, if you're wondering. Later. Do you know that I can read your aura? Usually you're good at keeping it black. But not this time. Ah, oh, the proverbial observer's aloofness. You've had your fun, haven't you? Now be gone. We've run into some stray dogs. Corrupted, all of them. Humans are not the only ones affected by this taint. I would not be that surprised. Just take a look around you. The whole city is infested. The corruption seeps through it all. Even we may have already fallen victim to it, for all we know. Either way, the sooner we get out of here, the better. May the Shaper guide your hand. us more than we need him. Let us not forget about this. Save us a walk through the infested districts. Good plan. Some respite at last. Swimming in armor is not much fun. could keep us safe on open water here. If that was too easy. I don't trust it. It is strange and calm. I feel... No auras. Nothing. As you said, they could be watching from afar.
closer we get to that blasted tear, the colder it becomes. The tear is changing things. It brings chaos. Then the snow is the least of our worries. started, if you can. Don't you doubt us. They were just lucky. So you better be. Be what? You do as I say. You know why we're here. Ha! Your obsession with the other one, yes. How will you make them? Shut up, fools. You dare insult us! Sister, it must be them. And I still can't sense their aura. Hey, you two! Did we interrupt something? Just kill him. <laughs> we'll play with our new toys. See how strong they are. You'll find out. <laughs> then maybe you can join us. You want to, we know it. Never! They're useless. Destroy them quickly, then fight me. Quickly? No. We need to see what this new body can do. Every kind of pain you can inflict. Don't die too soon, but do scream. I feel their auras now. They're too strong. We need to get away from here. What matters now is that we left them behind. They're still near, though. Stalking behind us. It's frightening. Let's look for a way to leave them behind for good. Their aura is gone. All of a sudden. 
they must be preparing for an ambush. understand that's what they want what if we lose control what if we transcend if that's what it takes so be it we'll take them down with us i swear to the keepers i'm with you sister Just have mercy no mercy for the yellow or the behind <laughs> don't just stand there Show us what you've got! We offer you one thing, an exciting death! Exciting for us! <laughs>
felt this feeling, this place again. Prior was overwhelmed, and they ended up here. Whether out of fear or desperation, she's trying to consume my aura again. Sister, let me help you. Before it's too late. wanted the nightmare to end. There was no going back. Almost. It's so close. from what she saw. Mama. Papa. No one deserves such a fate. Poor Raya. She carried it alone all this time. I'm closer. I can almost... Almost. Loot. 
Lute, please. Please, I know. We have to run. We have to find somewhere safe. We can't go. We can't be alone. I'm not strong enough, sister. We'll be strong together. We'll always have each other. I promise. instead. We became stronger together. I am proud to be at your side. I won't let you forget our promise.
there she is. Briar, are you finally back to your senses? Sister, I was so worried. I thought for a moment. Finally. I was about to think my efforts on your behalf wasted. What? Where am I? Leighton? You're a damned fool. Do you know what could have happened? We had no other choice. I did what I had to. No. There was another choice you could have made. Between death and transcendence, a chimera chooses death. Or it is chosen for them. I'm amazed the Shadeless let you live. Donovan. He came to our aid. He was not the only one. You need too much help. Perhaps my confidence in you was misplaced. But I suppose I'll have to make do with what the Keepers have given me. Where's Donovan now? I lost track of him when I went after you two. But unlike you, it looks like he could take on a Transcended. So it is true. The Transcended. To think that those were Chimera's ones. Like us. Loot, you said they disappeared. They changed. I have never witnessed the transcendence of a chimera myself. The Order prevents it with any means possible. I've read reports, but nothing like this. This is something more. Could it be the result of the aura you felt on the bridge? It must be. They were taken beyond their limit. I felt their suffering. Who are they? It hardly matters now. Whoever they were, they're gone. My concern lies elsewhere. Transcended are known not to last long. Their power should have consumed them by now. And yet they didn't show any sign of decay. Why? Maybe the tear feeds them. All the more reason to seal it. If only we knew how. I hate to say it, but it looks like you will have to improvise after all. Fine. But we will do things our way. Go now. Don't make me regret putting faith in you. It should be of some help as you make your way back to the surface. Thank you, Leighton. And not just for your gift. the Shadlers knew what he was going up against. Unlike the two of you. That said, I doubt that's the last we'll see of him. The same can be said about those monsters. All the more reason not to waste the chance you've been given. You won't get another. I mean to ask a question about you, if I may. Do you believe in the Keepers? I didn't care much about it as a girl. There was work to do in the fields. I care even less now. And what about you, Loot? There was a preacher of the Triarchy in our village. Mother used to go and listen to her sermons. Then she helped me say my prayers before going to sleep. She taught me. I... I think it's part of who I was, who I still am. You shall fight for it then.
judge's wisdom, dear sisters. I need to ask you something, Newt. I had another nightmare. Another memory. Were you there? Yes. But I did not want to be. You should have told me what happened to them. It was my burden, Loot. I'd not wish my memories on anyone. I wanted to protect you from that. Even though I couldn't protect you from what happened next. You did everything you could. It was not enough. Then I am just as responsible. That rape hurt you because of me. But all of it led us to here. We can make a difference now. Together. And that is all that matters. I... don't want to talk about the past. Let's find a way out of here. Hmm. What's this for? I heard something. A grinding of metal, perhaps? It came from the chamber we just left. Let's find out what it was. Try not to get us blown to pieces. I pushed it too far. Is it too much to hope that this door will lead us out of here?
We... prevailed. Only by being reckless. Again. We couldn't run. And Leighton himself told us, after all, we're improvising. If you put it that way. There's a movable bridge, if we can raise it. There's crystals everywhere. That won't be easy. If nothing else, it means we're getting closer to the tear. Then let's clean it up and use it. I've been thinking about it. The doom of us chimeras. Not if the Order can help it. They will send a Reaper for you to prevent it. A Reaper? You mean something like an executioner? We have never heard anything about this. Every chimera knows that they won't live forever. Why the secrecy? Would you really like to know how your former comrades were dismissed? Who came for them? Or who will come for you eventually? Now that you say it, it's easy to understand why this information is kept secret. These sewers look even more grand compared to the rotten slums above. Such an architectural wonder, isn't it? As such, it only served the needs of the patricians in Hightown. That's hardly surprising, but I will get over it. As long as this is the road that will take us to the inner walls. Farewell. controls the drainage of the sewers. Charming. Let's go take a look. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, it's still blocked. More clusters need destroying. like mold on rotten fruit. Makes four. How are we done yet? The taint is fading, but not quite gone. There must be another. again. You hear it? Yes. It's coming from the main chamber. Let's go. Better work after all of that. You won't stop us. to the surface. There's nothing more to do. Out of that wretched stench at last. sewage every time. We must be near the canal we crossed earlier. Then the transcendent will not be far behind. I might not feel them coming. We don't have far to go to the inner walls. With luck, we'll get there without seeing them. Go through the monastery. Until we reach the cathedral. Where it all started.
this haze? Something unnatural. but I saw her with my own eyes. through countless battles already, Loot. But now it could finally mean something. We can save that girl. her to her fate. strike this thing. you would you want me to just leave you she could never have survived here alone it's impossible you don't know that i have to help her i must <laughs> Through the waterfall. There might be a way into High Town here. 
We're here for the girl. Please, in spite of the haze, I can feel a strong aura. We should go. I see her. Girl, wait! We're here to help.
won't happen again. to her rage and draw on her power. Did he mean to kill us? He did warn us about transcendence after all. Or did he have another plan for us? corrupted. Get back, child!
Move away from her, or I won't be able to protect you. sister. I wish I had another choice, but all corrupted must be purged. As much as I pity you, I can make no exception. May the judge have mercy on your souls. Hold your sword, knight. Lord Dougal. Your grace, I didn't expect to meet you here. My place is where the three lead me. And their divine will led me here today, to these two sisters. There we were, at the mercy of the Order of the Ashen Blade. At the mercy of Sir Donovan. No one in the Order ever said that he was involved in our rescue. And he made no mention of any of this. Why? Maybe he thought that we would bear a grudge against him. Or maybe he did not want to open old wounds. Do we owe our lives to Lord Dougal then? The girl already carries the taint of corruption. As for her sister, I'm afraid she won't survive the night. I know, Sir Donovan, but there's still hope for them. Do you mean to...? The decision to give birth to the new Chimera is never taken lightly. But their bond did halt the spread of the corruption. We can't ignore that. And we can't spare any effort. There are too many lives at stake. I see. Your Grace. The invasion was stopped. Survivors are being tended to. Very good. The time has come for us to return to Doran. Make sure that the corrupted girl is properly restrained. Be zealous, but don't forget your piety. She is in great suffering. I will take care of this little one. As your grace commands. The road is long, but the three have granted me their power. I will make sure that her soul does not cross the veil. Not yet. And so began our journey to Dora. To the headquarters of the Order. When we finally woke up, we had been reborn as a Chimera. They told us we had been given a chance to carry on. 
and avenge our parents' death. That's why we can't transcend. <sighs> now. She needed to focus her rage, her corrupted blood. Oh, and you know an awful lot about my blood, don't you? I know now, shadeless. I saw it in my nightmare. I remember. You were there. So, it finally came to your mind, Briar. You were ready to put me down, weren't you? I was just another corrupted. Why did you hesitate? It's your fault! What I did to loot was on your head! It's because of you we're like this! Sister... Briar, I owe you an apology. Do not apologize! We're not done here! We need to talk. No! Our swords will do the talking. Very well. I've never been good with words anyway. But know one thing. I won't make this easy for you. I wouldn't ask for anything less. You should have killed me. It's your sworn duty, is it not? Yeah. I have never taken a life with a light heart. And I didn't wish for anything like this to happen to the two of you. You talk like you are the victim.
say you only get to really know someone when you fight against them. I must say, I'm learning much about the team. Full of surprises, you'll see. When you fight, you're all in. I take that as a compliment. It is not. Satisfied now? No. But Lute's right. Oh, this is useless. Things are not as easy as they look, Briar. If you ever find yourself in my position, you shall face some tough choices. And you'll make mistakes. Do you have nothing to offer but platitudes? I came here to save you, even if you don't want me to. We can't understand why they sent us on this mission. We're doing everything we can, but we are not ready. You're getting stronger, that's clear. And you still have untapped potential. A great one. But the more you express it, the more you risk losing it all. And do you have any wisdom to impart in that regard? I am not here to chastise you, or teach you temperance. You must learn that yourself. But you saw what happened to your comrades. Did you know they had transcended? I needed to ascertain that. Clearly, there's no more room for doubt. What I meant to say is that you should have transcended as well by now. No scholar of the Order could explain why you have not. Briar is different from the other knights. She is, but... I know where this is going. Stronger or not, we've needed your help twice already. I don't know if I'll be able to assist you again. Listen, I am stronger and more experienced than you. But I may not have what it takes to see this through. And we do. Only time and your resolve will tell. But you have to take responsibility for your power. For who you are. Understood. <laughs> we will not break your trust, Donovan. I promise. We both do. Now go. You've not made this easy for me either. I need time to recover. May the Shaper guide your hand and keep it firm. We cannot waste time. Did you really believe that attacking me would do any good? I told you, you needed to regain your focus. And since all you could do then was fight, you left me with no other option. It may feel rough, sister, but it was effective. I... I can hardly deny it. I just don't like the feeling of being maneuvered or tricked. 
Even if it's for my own good. I feel bad for leaving you here, sir. Do not be silly, Lunt. You're not meant to tend to my wounds anyway. Rai's not the only one who could heal her own wounds. As I said, it will just be a matter of minutes. Loot, he's right. We need to go. For once, I agree with your sister. Watch over her. She really needs it. <sighs> be safe, Donovan. We'll meet again. We will. You have much to learn. I don't know what to make of his words. I feel angry. And stupid. Sister, don't. You heard him. We can prove our worth in this fight. In his eyes, or Layton's, or in the eyes of Lord Jugal himself, they forged a loot, like a weapon. But if that weapon breaks, they will not hesitate to throw it away, like trash. Then we will stay strong. Don't spare Sister. The way back to Hightown is not far. Let us hurry, then. Grew. They look different. I'm afraid we're in for some sort of surprise. Help me shatter them, and we'll find out. Look! It healed! They'll need to be quicker.
Greetings, sisters. What news do you bring? We ran into Donovan. He still eludes me, but I see he has taken a certain interest in you. He found a way to help us again, regain our focus. Which means you found yourselves close to your limit. Again. You should be flattered that the famed Shadeless is mentoring you. But I can't help but be concerned about your instability. Donovan told us that we should already have transcended by now. Is that supposed to be reassuring? But it is surprising no less. Just don't take this ability of yours as a reason to grow cocky. Understood? We know nothing about it. Just as we ignore what really transpired here before our arrival. In that regard, is there something you should know? Hmm? We may have elected to share some information with you. Loot, are you sure? We hate to be kept in the dark, don't we? It's time. We have to trust someone. What do you mean? Speak. I have sent echoes of the past scattered throughout the city. They might hold the answer we seek. Let me explain. You know that to hide such information equates to high treason. Were I to report this, you would be executed. Luckily enough, we have much more pressing matters at hand. I mean to confer with the Shadeless. You shall proceed on your own. May the torchbearer light our paths. May her light never fade. So, what do you think of the Shadeless's teaching methods? I understand he can be quite harsh. But effective. Anyway, I was no less harsh myself. So... Why so pensive, Briar? I'm not used to seeing you like this. Some things that he said... I need to think them through. I... I'm not in the mood for talking now, Observer. These echoes I've witnessed... They come naturally to me. I wonder if our former comrades experienced them as well. Do you really want me to tell you that you are a very special shade, Lute? I'm not looking for praise, nor for sarcasm, later. It's my persona, Lute. You should have got used to it by now. Anyway, based on your reports, I assume that the other Chimeras didn't know the things you have learned. They say knowledge is power, so don't waste yours. I don't 
mean to, rest assured. Farewell. I never imagined anything like this. All those crystals and ice. Hightown is completely in their grip. Destroy it somehow. We're almost there. We needed any further proof of how awful things are up here. Send it all with it. No, it was before they transformed. They were chasing it. We are following the same trail they found. Such power. There's no doubt it's our prey. Though I'm not sure who is the hunter here. Just like you and your shade, 
hunting one another for so long. That Damien killed so many people just to motivate you in your own hunt. Oh, Amina, if that's not twisted, I don't know what is. Shut up, Jaden. But you had your own fun, didn't you? You two were made for each other. Take that back, or I'll make you regret it. Easy, easy, my girl. You are a soft target for jests. I can't resist. You know, they are my greatest sin in the eyes of the judge. And you know I loathe the twisted soul I bear as my burden. Don't fret. He's not needed. Even my brother can rest for now. What do you mean? Have you found anything? Look over there. That crater. We don't even have to gaze into the ether for clues. Come, let's not waste any more time. I don't think this is a good idea. We should report to the Observer first. Moreover, a third Chimera is supposed to join us, remember? Bah! A low-ranked novice shaking in their armor. Who needs them? I'm not holding their hand when something here needs to feel my blade. That's not what I and my brother Jared volunteered for. Always so eager to prove yourselves. If there's a sin you should atone for, it's pride. Armin and Jaden. So these were the knights that came before us. Expert warriors and in firm control of their shades. Unlike us, you mean? I mean, if these experienced controlled chimeras fell to this creature, how can we hope to succeed when they fail? You heard, Donovan. Whatever it is that keeps us going. I mean to hold on to it. Let's go now. We must reach the crater they spotted. I'm glad to be with you, sister. No matter what comes next. Town. We are getting close to the tear. The desolation is even more appalling. They had an easy life here. Comfortable and safe. Yet they were spot first.
They had a whole city to feed upon. Now there's no one left here. Then I suppose that we look especially tempting to them. Let them come, I say. Sisters, I'm glad to see that the judge has not yet welcomed you in his halls. We don't plan to visit him anytime soon. Layton, have you... Found the Shadeless. Unfortunately, I have not succeeded in my purpose. How I wish I was as interesting to him as the two of you. But alas, I am only human. Trust me, Observer. You should enjoy your condition while it lasts. What about you? Have you picked up that ethereal trail of yours? Not exactly. It was the auras of the other chimeras that I felt this time. They were chasing some creature. They meant to stop it. Whatever it was, it led them to their deaths. You think it was the thing that turned them? It's only logical. And it's still out there. It's just a question of time. Sooner or later, we will face it ourselves. I can't help but ponder over Donovan's words about you. And your resistance to the transcendence. I hope they prove true, for all our sakes. Leighton, if you have any other trinket that could ease our task, now would be a good time to hand it over. I did happen to pass by a safe house of the Order. Here, take these. And now go. Make sure that the judge does not take you to trial. Not while we still have sins to commit. You didn't tell us, but we found out ourselves. The Chimera who left the mission was Amina. In truth, she was not given that role by her superiors. But she has always behaved as if she were in charge, so I'm not surprised. She showed much contempt for her own shade. How could they coexist? Armina's shade was a twisted man whom she chased and brought to justice. She wanted him executed, but things didn't go as she planned. Lord Dougal insisted that the two had developed such a strong bond. So strong that it could sustain them as a chimera. Anyway, the bond between a knight and a shade can take many forms. Theirs is peculiarly twisted. We do know of him and his brother, Jared. They earn quite a reputation amongst the Chimeras at Doran. They volunteered to be reborn as a Chimera. Did you know that? They were part of the honor guard of Lord Dougal himself. So eager to forfeit their mortal existence and serve the Order. It was their own decision then privilege we were not given. I doubt they had a choice when they transcended. That evens things out, don't you think? 
We have never heard of safe houses like the one you mentioned. There are many scattered throughout the whole kingdom of Cadus. But only veterans and observers know about them. So, you're lucky to have me, it seems. I should have known where this discussion would lead. And yet, you ended up caught in my intricate web. Ha! May the Shaper guide your hand. Question. I think if we succeed, someone in Doran will find it very surprising. What do you mean? You and me, Leighton, even Donovan. I don't think that those who sent us here expected any of us to survive. Then let's prove them wrong, sister. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's killing us as well. Trap! Get me near the obelisks. I think they power the barrier. My powers. <laughs> the triarchy must have placed these traps here. As a last line of defense, we're getting closer to the monastery and the cathedral after all. They work too well if they affect us like this. I'm still in pain. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The Keepers have led you here. We have run into some strange traps. They affected the spawn of chaos. And strangely, they influenced us as well. Then they worked just as they were intended to. Many high members of the clergy do not look favorably upon us. But why? We're meant to protect them. We are. And they strive to ignore what we do as much as they can. But when it comes to their minds, they do not like it. Annoyance leads to mistrust, and mistrust leads to this. Too bad they could not stop the tear from opening in the sky. Not that we could do much about it ourselves, Briar. So, how do you like your visit to Hightown? They said you could hear all sorts of languages spoken here. Now all I can hear is the subdued murmuring of the dead. I tend to forget that your perceptions are... expanded. Upon our rebirth, it was like a door being opened. Sometimes I just wish I could keep it shut. Judge's wisdom, dear sisters. Another trap. We don't have time to look for another route. Are you ready? Whenever you are. The ice seems stable enough. This could be quite the shortcut. It will be quicker, but I doubt it will be safer. We left safety behind once we set foot here. Come on. Let's bring it down here with us.
Schild. to do. Here we go again. Let's not celebrate yet. This place will test us. Yes, I feel it too. Tear disruptible ether and matter. I can't tell what lies in wait before us, but it can't be good. 
The city itself is our enemy now. Such a vast city. And now... It's nothing but rubble. Any idea what it is? No, it's something completely new. The tail must be creating this business. How extraordinary. Loot, can we debate its origins after we have destroyed it? Silence is back. I am ready. Such devastation.
could save me the pain. But the pain was always with me, within me. Did you even know? Did you understand? And there was something really twisted about those two. This is bad. It's only a trace, but even so, I can feel a great power. This one is far stronger than the other two. Strong enough to cause them to transcend, too? This could really be the missing piece of the puzzle. <gasps> What's going on? The only trade I picked up. Alina and Jaden. They got here too, didn't they? <laughs> it's even better than I hoped. Glory awaits us. What are you babbling about? I speak of the wondrous prey we get to hunt. I can't wait to face it in battle. I owe it to my brother, Jared. Have you lost the little mind you have? It's a transcended. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a challenge, finally! You are too arrogant. We don't even know who they are, or were. Anyway, there's a reason the Order does not let us transcend. Lose sanity, deny the Keepers, blah, blah, blah. They fear it. I won't. To vanquish such a foe will be a heroic victory. There will be no glory in this fight, you idiot. We'll be slaughtered. Think for once. You know that all Transcended are deeply unstable. You sly snake. You want to fight it when it's weak. Or wait for its death. I spit on your cowardice. Like your murderous shade, you seek an easy kill over a glorious battle. You say something like that again, I'll make you join your dear brother. <laughs> That's my old Armina. All right, all right. We'll follow your plan. That's it. We shall wait for the Transcended to deteriorate. Then you'll have your glorious battle, when there's hope of winning. Amina was afraid. And rightly so. Anyway, her plan didn't work. Eventually, they were overwhelmed. That's what I felt on the bridge. It must be when she and Jaden transcended. It can't be a coincidence. This was planned. So the Transcended was meant to unleash their power here in Ilden. Someone wanted them to, and they knew they couldn't be stopped. Not by three chimeras. We were sent here just to pretend that the city could be purged. But what about the reinforcements? It could just be another lie. We have to find out if Leighton is the liar. I 
He knows something he has not told us. He must. Please, sister. Don't be reckless. If he is involved, why would he have helped us? I don't know. But this time, he'll be the one to give up his secrets. Time that we get some answers. first. We'll think of something once we get there. Let's go. It appeared. We'd better not let our guard down. Again at last! We 
We didn't think you would make it this far. You were lucky last time. No one is coming to your rescue now. That fool, that Russian bastard. We will never forgive her. He hurt us. He humiliated us. All because of you, sir.
brother. Are we beaten? Yes, I am sorry. This was our final battle. It was glorious to fight at your side. I think I now understand why he protected them. If not for him, we would not have had this day. A warrior's death. So this was their crystal. left of them. Why is the crystal still here? I do not know. The properties of these crystals, their source. The Order keeps them a secret. It's strange. I feel drawn to it. Maybe it can grant us more power. Get back, child. know you were here. Don't worry about these peasants, sir. We were about to finish with them. They are no longer your concern. Leave. Leave them to us. We've got a score to settle with these monsters. He can deal with the monster if he wants. We'll take care of the girl. survivors, no witnesses. We don't make the rules, sir. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a job to do. No! Friar! She's scared! No! Damn it! Shoot! Shoot! Ah! Fools. What is the 
the influence of Jaden's crystal? Is it changing her memories? Or revealing them? She hates herself what she did that day. What she did to me. But those soldiers... I must understand what really happened. It's so close. Butchers. That bitch attacked us, and her sister was defending her. Why did he shield her? Whose side is he on? We have wasted enough time already. We will finish what we started. Look, my men didn't mean to hit you, but you're a chimera. You'll heal, yes? Hmm. Let's go. Let him have them. There'll be other girls around here. Is there no limit to your foul dishonor? You disgrace the Order and your duty. We're just soldiers. Our very lives are on the line against these monsters. So we take what we can, while we can, including worthless village girls. Oh, wait. Is it because of your daughter? Yes, I've heard the rumors. You're pathetic, shameless. Enough. Let's get... You... You killed him. Judge, have mercy. Run! Come on, before he gets us too. Divine will led me here today, to these two sisters. Enough! Lord Dougal, I was about to report the situation to you. Stop playing the judge, Knight. You are here to purge the spawn of chaos, not to preach to the troops. And certainly not to slay them out of a fit of rage or self-righteousness. They are not worthy to fight for the Order. They're tools and resources, and you're not meant to waste them. I am tired of this already. <sighs> At least it looks like my trip was not wasted. The arrival of Grandmaster Dougal was altered in Briar's memory. 
What did it really lead to? I know this hurts. Briar. I wouldn't ask you to endure it any longer. But we need the truth. We're almost there. them with great interest. One should never question the design of the Keepers. Who could have thought that we'd find something so peculiar here? The way this little girl managed to soothe her corrupted sister. I want them carried to Doran. I will get to work immediately. There's... You can't do that. She's only a girl. Don't make them suffer. This. Worry not. The little one won't remember a thing. And I can make sure that the corrupted remains docile. But I don't need to justify my actions to you. This is not about you or your shade. No, I won't let you. You won't let me? Me? Know your place, Ashen Knight. You may not have got what you wanted, but I gave you what you asked for. She is still with you, nonetheless. As for these two, they shall help me with my... Research. Which is more than they could have accomplished in their worthless lives. Now be gone. Ah. Your Grace. The invasion was stopped. The villagers. The torchbearer leads them across the Vale. As you ordered. Good. Then the time has come to return to Doran. Make sure that the Corrupted is properly restrained. As for her sister, take her to my carriage. I will take care of her myself. It is imperative that she reaches the headquarters alive. As your grace commands.
The monastery at last. The only way to the tears through these halls. Prior, are you sure you're all right? You woke up on your own, but you've hardly uttered the word since. Are you angry about what we discovered? Of course I'm angry, Loot. But we already knew this sent us to our deaths. To know that we were manipulated from the very beginning. It sets me free somehow. We owe nothing to these people. No obedience, no fealty, nothing. Only retribution. Now, where is that craven weasel? Leighton, show yourself, you coward! Sister, please calm down. He was not even there. We only discovered one part of the truth. I'll wager he knows the rest. How can you be so calm about this? It was your life they took. They did this to you. How can you be calm? How? If they hadn't, I would have lost you. We are together. I won't be angry about that. <sighs> but I do want the truth. So you're right. We should find later. What happened? The tear above us. It's altering the very fabric of reality. I wonder if the monastery shall hold up. And I do not wish to find out. Let's get moving. After all we've been through, I'd rather not be buried alive here. You did it! That's it, sister. 
Let's not waste any more time then. It's a predator. Its instinct is to kill us, that I know. But it does look like it's enjoying this. sister to calm down before she does something she regrets. It, it will be easier if you just answer our questions. All we want is the truth. Please. Did you know? Did you know that Dougal warped my memories? That he had me think I killed my own sister? Our rebirth, Leighton. All this time we have lived a lie. Secrets, lies, the very lifeblood that runs in the veins of the Order. Blood that stains everyone and everything that it touches. But why did Dougal forge Briar's memories? To keep you both on a leash. To manipulate you. That's how he treats his... subjects. You talk like you had no part in all this. You're just an accomplice. Believe me, my sins are many, but I had no part in your rebirth. I was still climbing up the ranks of the Order at the time. So what do you know? Just that Dougal was intrigued at your discovery, your nature, your bond. So we were just a whim to him? An impulsive fascination? Who knows what he thought he could accomplish with you, or through you. But then you proved just too... fickle, restless. You just weren't worth the effort, so you were... discarded. Failed experiment. Now I can see why we were given this mission. As for Armina and Jaden, 
I assume they were just out of luck. So you think that we were all sent here to die? With everything that we have discovered so far, I find it hard to deny now. Dougal just needed someone disposable to reclaim Ilden. But what did you do to earn your place here? Me? Oh, Lord Dougal wanted to reward my service. It may sound baffling to you, but... But there! Briar, Lute, we are not safe here. There's more to discuss, but this is not the place or time. How convenient. Just as you were about to reveal your hand. We will speak again soon, I swear it. And before you go, here is a little something to prove my good faith. We value the truth more than your trinkets. You will have both. Now go, and may the three watch over you. things I wish to tell you. Eager to meet him again. it when it's gone. Trees crumbling to the ground. I'd like to sit 
once and for all. You must excuse us. Get out of here. It's taking us too long, Moot. I know. It's not safe. Let's go, sister. And that should do it. That's time for the sensation. It's gone. Forgive me for not feeling reassured by that loot. Elevator was not damaged enough. We can only hope there's another somewhere.
Corruption took hold here. And this place is closed. I figured as much. The trace of an aura still radiates below us. Oh, wait. I can feel the chimeras as well. They were here, together. Let's find a way to those traces, then. Maybe we'll learn what happened to Armina and Jaden. Sister, those contraptions. There's more around here. I can feel them. We shall restore your powers, then, and leave this damn place for good. Look forward to it. Greetings. As you can see, I stood true to my word. Speak then, before the whole monastery crumbles over our heads. What are your secrets? What were you keeping from Dugal? No more half-truths, Leighton. Let us say that I have an agenda that goes beyond my duty as an observer. And a duty... That does not lie with the Order. You're a traitor. After all you've witnessed here, you talk of treason, to me, I am, and I always have been, an agent of the Triarchy. <gasps> the Order of the Ashen Blade was created as the armed wing of the Triarchy. But the Order has constantly called for more independence, more power. For centuries, both sides have fought in secret to gain the upper hand. I was recruited as a spy in Rhine. I was just a humble monk then. My task was to infiltrate the Order by becoming an observer. You've lived a lie yourself for so many years. Yes. Watching. Waiting. Then a few dreadful words began to echo through the halls of Doran. The solstice of souls. The spawn of chaos struck, tearing the veil. The keepers watched as horror spilled into the world. And so came the solstice of souls. I kept an ear out. But I heard nothing more than fearful whispers. Eventually, I decided to try my luck with the Shadeless. Donovan knew no more than I, which troubled him deeply. So he decided to confront Dougal himself. I haven't seen him since. And when word of a major crisis in Nilden reached the headquarters, Dugo trusted me with such an important mission. 
Apparently he had found out about my other line of work. So we're truly in this together. Indeed. And if Dugo really means to bring forth this solstice of souls, then we must stop him at all costs. Together. What about Donovan? You didn't know about his presence here, did you? No, and I can't explain it. But with the Grand Master involved, I can't but fear for the Shadeless's life as well. Anyway, I showed my guards. It's your turn now. What do you say? I don't care for your allegiance. You're a spy. I don't trust you. Sister, we must join forces with Leighton. There's no other way. I know. I do not deserve your trust. But I will help if you let me. <laughs> Fine, Observer. It looks like we're on the same side. For now. If you were a monk yourself, many brothers of yours lived here. We were all part of the Triarchy, it's true. But to be honest, I have never felt a true bond with the monks in Ilden. Didn't you take the same vows? Yes, but how can one observe them in a place like this? Surrounded by all this... opulence. The Cathedral of a Guiding Light even surpasses it. Or used to, anyway. Think of all this as something wrong. It's so majestic. It was the hubris of man that built this. Not the wisdom of the Shaper. Armina is on her own now. What is she up to? On her own, you say? There is still another transcended at large. The one who caused her to transform must still be here in Ilden. As it transcended, Jared and Jaden said something about it. Yes, that Armina was obsessed with the other one. This is interesting, and quite troubling in equal measure. It seems that you and Armina may be after the same goal. A clash with her is inevitable. We shall be ready. You know how to find me. sound of my own voice as I say it, but I think so. Now, let's focus on those auras you felt. Oh, crap. 
It does not matter now. We're done running. We will defeat it here and now. operation. We finally got rid of it. I wonder what horrors we still have to face. Don't doubt our strength. We'll come out of this alive and victorious. be damned. He found us! You thought you couldn't make it without me, did you? Demian, I didn't call you forth. What is... You let your guard down, so here I am. You should not strain yourself so much. Something bad could happen to you. What? A transcendent! Amina, you bitch! You were always stupid, but this is beyond stupid! It's suicidal! Demian, enough! He was supposed to be weaker now, unstable. How is this even possible? So, you had a grand plan, and it was a complete failure, wasn't it? Obviously, that dimwit Jaden followed it to the letter. While blabbering about his little brother's honor, I'm sure. Am I right? Focus, you fool! Give me your strength! So now I'm the fool. <laughs> Stand no chance against a transcendent, can't you see? Judge, have mercy. This is the end. They didn't know that the Transcendent wouldn't get any less stable here. Well, we learned it the hard way ourselves. Even now, with the power we have awakened. You're not sure we can make it, are you? But you know what? I don't care. Should we have even the slightest chance to succeed? We have to make it count. Of course. It's all we can do. It's what we must do. Such whining does not do you justice, Armina. 
I assume your plan was doomed from the start. But do not despair. We are taking the lead now. It's time to fight the Transcended head on! Oh, I've been craving such a battle. Jared, are you ready, my brother? I gave my life for this. For the Ashen Blade! Yes, that's the spirit. We're here to earn a glorious victory or a glorious death. The likes of which few can even dream of. To charge into battle like that? <laughs> Typical of those fools. And I thought they lost their minds when they transcended. Those two were never sane. To think they would just win or die. They could not imagine what would happen to them. Yes, but how? Did they just go beyond their limit as they fought? I don't know. But I'm sure that the Transcendent played a big role in this. Did you hear that, Luke? I did. A girl's voice was speaking to her father. Can there even be a chimera born of such a bond? I hope not. It does not feel right. What reason could there be behind their rebirth? If only we knew who we are actually dealing with. Maybe later know something useful. We shall ask him. For good or ill, we're getting more and more answers. And just as many questions. It looks like Armina and Jaden were spared, only to be forced to transcend. Like playthings? This is monstrous. It's not that different than what Dougal did to us, if you ask me. Heap of rubble. 
for not feeling reassured by that loot. Yet another tremor. They're getting more and more frequent. We have to... More crystals to keep it blocked. Let's get out of here. elevator. There's no way out. I don't like it. As long as we're here, we're an easy target. Oh. What was that? Your bad feeling. It was justified. They're here. I hate being right. Let's get rid of them.
lies just ahead. We must find Donovan. He faced Jugal, so he must know something about all this. You may ask him very soon, sister. He's me. I can feel his aura, but it's different somehow. Girl, why did he summon her? I'm not sure he did it on purpose. If this is bad, very bad. Be on your guard, sister. Chaos be damned, loot. What is going on? The shade's aura, it permeates Donovan's completely. He's taking him over. I can barely sense him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Donovan, are you back in control? Prior, loot. I'm so sorry. I tried to resist her, but even now, I don't have much time. Your shade, 
Was that your daughter? Hannah. This is all my fault. Forgive her if you can. I can't understand. Are you even aware of what you've done? It was the only way. Dougal. He had us brought here. The relic hidden inside the cathedral. He knew. But the things you did, the things you said to us. You. You were. You could elude me, shadeless? Scurrying around the ruins of this useless dump like a cowardly mouse. But your time is gone. Slide back to oblivion and let her rise again. We have a whole new world to forge. As for the two of you, you're just worthless pawns, insignificant in the grand scheme of things. If you can keep up, you'll witness the dawn of our rule. Everything you fought to save will be destroyed. And you will suffer the same fate.
surely slow it down. I'm not giving up anyway. This one was too fast. Still be unconscious. His world shattered. Let us hope he does not wake up now. We will not be able to help him if he does. The cathedral is destroyed, but the tear is keeping it from falling apart. Am I supposed to see the glass half full? Despite it all, we're getting closer to the cathedral. We must prepare for the worst. I feel it. Sister, I can feel the aura. The wind. Pleased once we catch up with her. We can't outrun these ones. We must get rid of them.
The storm is weaker here. Armina must have reached the cathedral by now. She's waiting for us there.
be damned. She's out of reach. We can use the daybreak. I'll show you the way. Let's go get her. Never. 
defile my body again. My eyes are blind. You blinded me. You bitch. You're a this. You can't imagine what I'll do to you. Shut up. I don't need you. I don't.
thinking. You're not trying to stop me. No. I know that you're not lusting for power. But it will be up to us to help Donovan to stop the Solstice of Souls. Without this crystal, we are simply not strong enough to do it. <clears throat> Moreover, if not for the one we got from Jared and Jaden, we would have never found out the truth about our rebirth. There's still much we do not know. Maybe this will let us find out. And if it hurts, I'll be by your side. I'm counting on you, sister. Sir Donovan, Lord Dougal put this part of the dungeon under quarantine. He said that no one should go in or out. The corruption... I am an ashen knight. Your concerns are ill-placed, soldier. But his grace's orders were very clear. Listen, boy. Even though you mean well, you are wasting my time. Give way now. You are dismissed. I... I see. Let me open the door for you, sir. <laughs> you... bear your things at me, girl. I cannot blame you. It is my fault that you and your little sister are here. Still alive, waiting for a sentence that is far worse than death. Lord Dugo will transform you into a chimera. Like me. Like us. He says that you and your sister hold a great potential. That the Order will give you a new life and a new purpose. <laughs> His words are always so full of fervor. So convincing. But the price for his actions is never his to pay. You, your sister, my Hannah, you are so different, and yet you were all doomed because of Dougal. Because of me, the things can be different this time. I can still free you, spare you both of this on life. No ritual, no rebirth, no chimera. Just peace in death. <sighs> I do not make a decision with such a light heart. You will see your sister again beyond the veil. Soon. It would be naive to think that Dougal would just let her go. Sadly, this is all I can do for you. Farewell. And forgive me if...
sometimes it is so hard to catch sight of it in the darkness. But I can see it here today. This, this fire within you. Don't let anyone extinguish it, girl. Briar. She's always been stronger than she can even imagine. If Donovan had killed her, it would have been all for naught. But since he spared her, I will finally witness my death and my rebirth. I'm closer. I can almost... Your Grace, the supplicants are here. The one tainted by corruption is awake, as you requested. Pardon my asking, Your Grace, but is this safe? We have never used a corrupted as a host for a living soul. Do not doubt our purpose. The Shaper inspires us. Now hold her fast. Her reactions might be lively. Oh, mighty keepers of the cosmos, heed the call of your humble servant. Guide his hand in the realization of your grand design. So long ago, you shielded us from the spawn of chaos. In our darkest hour, you sent your chimeras among us so that they would protect us and deliver us from the evil that would consume our world. But the vigil of the chimeras never ends. <laughs> The last moments of my life. It feels so distant to watch like this. As if it were happening to someone else. Where is Briar? In spite of the corruption, she did understand. That's creep. It must have been horrible for her then. And it can't be any better now. Torchbearer, you who light the way and teach us virtue. Walk alongside the supplicant I bring before you. And with her soul, ignite the sacred crystal I hold in my hands. <coughs> Judge, you who condemn the flaws of our mortality. With each step I make, cleanse the sins of these two souls. And prepare them for their new existence in your service. Shaper, you who bring forth the end to usher in a new beginning. Bind these souls, shape them into an instrument of your divine will. And have them rise again as a chimera of the Ashen Blade. the mortal body must perish. That which is immortal is bound to be reborn.
These nightmares, they have brought back so many memories. I tried to bury them beneath my anger, my rage, but it was not enough. I am but a foolish experiment, a failed one at that, a trivial mistake to forget and forsake. If only it had just been about me, but no. I had to drag Lude down into this darkness. I do not deserve to have her by my side. If I cease to exist, she would finally be free. This is for the best. Sister! L Lute, you are here with me. Even now. Of course I am. I always will be. Briar, we cannot undo what was done to us. It's a scar that won't heal. Because we are that scar. But we have to get back now. We have to wake up. You... You are far stronger than me. To live again that pain, that horror. I thought I could withstand it. I was wrong. Our deaths, our rebirth. In the end, it's all been for nothing. And now that our souls are lost, only a monster remains out there. Just like the ones we meant to stop. But this, we cannot defeat. Don't be afraid of who we are. How can you even say that? You have always feared the horror within us. But then you showed me. You taught me. It does not matter what they made us. The only thing that matters is what we do with it. And if it takes a monster to put an end to this nightmare, so be it. Just think of Leighton's words. Between death and transcendence, a chimera chooses death. It's for the best, loot. We have to let go. I don't care about what he said. He knows nothing of us. He does not know that we always have a choice. We can choose to fight. You really are the strongest among us. It's you who teaches me every day. You're right. We do have a choice as long as we are together. We're not going down. They want yet another monster. They shall have one. You're really sane again. We are. Oh, and apologies for whatever we may have just done to you. You transcended. You did it. There's no doubt about it. Nothing escapes the gaze of the Observer. But you're not telling Dougal, are you? I'm sure he would never expect this to happen. To his failed experiment? That's a way to put it. That said, it's good to have you back. 
I mean it. Come now. We have much to discuss. I must say, I am truly impressed. What you accomplished is unprecedented in the history of the Ashen Blade. However, we're not the only ones to have overcome transcendence. Donovan did it as well. And this means that he can be saved too. You're right, Loot. Enough pats on the back. We must reach him as soon as possible. And seal the dare. All your efforts will be for naught if we don't deal with what's overhead. I still can't understand how it could open in the first place. Or why here, of all places? Three the mighty battles fought and won by the champions of man. Three the sacred cities that were built in those hallowed places. The Canticle of the Keepers. Again. Ilden is one of the sacred cities, right? It is. Which means that the Solstice of Souls was especially strong here. It must have left something behind. Something powerful enough to open the dare. Donovan hinted at a relic hidden within the cathedral. He said that Dougal knew. Could it be something that the Transcended feel drawn to? Indeed. And you may hear that call yourselves. It's good to know in advance, at least. Come, Lute. It's time for us to go. Don't let me keep you, sisters. I'll follow when it's safe. You know it's never going to be safe if we are involved. But perhaps that is how you prefer it. I must finally admit that you are right, Leighton. You do have your own talents. No one else could have accomplished what you have done. Chimera or not. It's interesting to hear such words from the two of you. Your perspective on things, all things, is different. It may be now, but I remember what it meant to be human. I want to. You can't fathom how important that is. It is your anchor to your sanity and your balance. Without it, you will be lost. Even if you do not transcend, just like Dougal. May the Shaper guide your hand. Are you ready, Loot? Ready, and no longer afraid. We have been given another chance. Let's make it count. this and more. I just won't give up. I'd be disappointed if it did. Now it's our turn.
We can't hold on in that form for long. Don't be hasty, sister. We should be grateful that we can control it, even for a short time. You may be right. I want more power to destroy the Order. But we can't afford to transcend permanently. There! The center of the tear. It's like a threshold between our world and chaos itself. What about the relic Donovan spoke of? If it's not here, it must have been engulfed by the tear itself.
just one more. Then they will fall, one by one. Just a little further. I hope that this place holds up. We're in the middle of a fire that fades upon itself. It won't extinguish any time soon. Now, remember, maybe Hannah is hiding their auras. That would mean she is in control. Almina brought them here with that purpose in mind, after all. If they're waiting beyond the portal, harnessing the power of the relic, we could seal them off. No, we have to save Donovan. We have to try the feast. And if we can't, beyond the veil, his power can only grow. We have to stop him and his daughter. Once and for all. I... agree. We owe him this much.
this man. The armor he wears is strange. Where did he come from? I don't know, sister. It's like he's not even from this world. There is so much we don't know about what mysteries lurk beyond the veil. Whatever it is, we must make sure it stays on the other side for now. Let's go. This is our fate, Loot. There's no escape from it now. That is not an option for me, Briar. And I know it's not for you either. It's time then. This ends now.
We made it. Uh, uh, Raya, are you alright? The crystal in my chest. Something is wrong. I... I feel better now. Are we adapting to... this? I wonder if it will last. That pillar of light. The terror is in there. We truly are in the eye of the storm. So Donovan has to be here. Can you feel him? Or his daughter? No, nothing still. No aura at all. Well, we have no other option but to get closer. Pain again. Ugh. This place is not so safe after all. I just hope it does not swallow us whole. So the tear is doing the same, only at much larger scale. It is blending our world with the essence of chaos, after all. And it opened here, through this massive crystal, the relic. The statue must have kept it hidden, and dormant somehow. But Jugal knew, and he sacrificed the whole city to ignite it. He will pay for this. We need to find Donovan and Hannah first. They must be near. Then let's look for them. <laughs> Are you well? We shouldn't give chase if... It's only pain. This is more important. from this heresy. Why do you resist? This is for your own good. We're not human no matter what. 
what we pretend. We're something else completely, and we should be together. No one will tell us what to do. No one will hurt us again. beginning. It must have been excruciating. To think that we had no idea when we first met him here in Ilden. If only Armina had not taken him away from us. He managed to guide us here anyway. And if anyone can put an end to this now, it's you and I, Lute. The Solstice of Souls. So this is what it looks like. Later. I knew you couldn't be far behind. I must say, I am eager to get back to a more reliable reality. One with clearer concepts of up and down, at least. But I had to witness this with my own eyes. It seems we found your relic. A vestige from the first Solstice of Souls. Dougal devised how to awaken it, setting things in motion again. But he needed a spark to light the fire, didn't he? Exactly. So he planned for Donovan to transcend here in Ilden. He knew that the transcended would find its way to the relic eventually. So how bad is this? Bad to the point that it is... irreversible. And worse to the point that Ilden is but one of the three sacred cities. was referring to. There must be two more crystals in the run, and even in rain. The City of Light falls, and with it the torchbearer. So the Shaper and the Judge are in danger too. We must seal the tear here, and defend the other relics. I fear that we won't be able to protect both. Focus on the task at hand now. Only afterwards we will... While well, the mod body must perish, <coughs> that which is immortal is bound to be reborn. Dougal must be stopped. He wants to create a new world, but he will only destroy the one we have. Sir Donovan! We're here to help, if you let us. Please hold on. There must be a way. It's too late now. <laughs> my Hannah and I, we are doomed. I did my best to lead you here. It was all I could do in spite of all my strength and pride. I have always been but a broken tool in the hands of the Grand Master of the Ashen Blade. He even used me to perpetrate a lie about your rebirth. I am sorry. Donovan, it does not matter now. You must. It's crystal. It's falling apart. I am sorry. I can't hold any longer. But you are ready. We are beyond redemption. I hope you can still give us oblivion. Then your true mission will begin.
So this is what remains of Donovan's mind. But how could we both get pulled in? I think it's the relic. Its power binds us all. Whatever certainties we had, we can leave them behind now. My dear Hannah. Everything I did, I did to keep you safe. But I could not protect you from this. Dad. Anna. Father, it is not your fault. You have to let me go. I, I can't. I will always watch over you. Mother and I, we will keep you safe. Grandmaster Dougal, I left the garrison without your leave. I am deeply sorry, Your Grace. Your departure was more than justified. You do not need to apologize. My regard for you goes beyond your role as captain of the guard. My daughter, Hannah, it won't be long before. I don't know what to do, Your Grace. The wisdom of the Keepers is beyond our grasp, Sir Donovan. And what looks most obvious to us 
may not be part of their design. Help me understand it then, so that I can finally bid her farewell. You could do more than just accept this fate. The bond you share with your daughter is strong. Stronger than death itself. Your souls are intertwined with the blessing of the Shaper. We can give you both a new start. As a chimera. That filthy schemer. He manipulated him into turning himself and Hannah into a chimera. He took advantage of his desperation. Just as he did with us. This way. Are you certain? I am proud of you, my dear. Impressive work, Sir Donovan. I didn't think it possible such a short time after your rebirth. Send her back. Your Grace, she's not well. <laughs> Men, restrain them. But the shade, it is unstable. Restrain them. No, Hannah. Just as she said when she awoke as a transcended. Her suffering did not end when she died to become a shade. If Donovan had known, I wonder if Jugal was aware of the consequences. I doubt it even mattered to him. Anyway, that's the reason why Donovan never summons Hannah. That's why he became the shadeless. unknown, but eventually her light finds its way to us all. Such words of wisdom, but I'm sure you did not summon me to show off your oratory skills. Listen, it's dangerous for me to talk with you. I can't see why. We're both valued and reliable members of the Ashen Blade. You've been asking too many questions, Observer. Dougal is growing wary of you and your constant meddling. He told me to keep an eye on you. Do you understand what that means? So tell me what you're looking for and what you want from me. I only wish that the Grand Master does not stray from his holy path. But I have heard troubling things and made even more troubling deductions. I don't have time for this. What is it you think Dougal is up to? The Solstice of Souls. 
Worlds colliding. The spawn of chaos crossing the veil on a rampage. Would that not trouble you? Mm. Old myths, idle gossip, disloyalty. These are the answers I got as I asked around. But judging from the look in your eyes, I believe your answer will be different. I don't have one, Observer. But I know Dougal well enough. He is the reason I speak to you as an Ashen Knight. The cause of my daughter's never-ending suffering. And yet, you've been his loyal servant for many years now. I took my oath to the Order, not to him. And Hannah... The least I can do is to make sure that her sacrifice means something. But Dougal's ambition... It has always troubled me, I admit it. If what you suspect is true... It is. And he knows I am prying into his secrets. That's why he asked you to investigate me. So what do you know? And most importantly, what will you do? Suffice to say that you know more than I. I will talk with Dougal. I will stop him, if need be. Judge is on our side. He must be. Are you sure this is the best way to address the Grand Master? I've never been one for subtlety. I wouldn't know any other way. He still thought that he could overcome all challenges. With a true heart and a firm hand. Righteous and uncompromising, or just foolish. Anyway, what happened next led to the massacre of Ilden. There must be something else buried inside Donovan's mind. Then we need to find it. Donovan, to what do I owe the pleasure of our visit and the request for such secrecy? I wish to know more about the Solstice of Souls. I didn't think you would want anyone else to hear our conversation. Always so thoughtful. But you were not as discreet when you had your little chat with that. Layton, you mean to betray me. We both know this. You plan to unleash this solstice of souls. You are the one who betrays our very mission. Then how can you be so naive? This world is beyond saving. You can't deny that I'm right. Look at you. Look at your daughter, Shadeless. Blasphemous madman! You did this to her! I did it because you would not accept your fate, remember? I've believed your lies for far too long. Believe what you will. You have outlived your usefulness. The solstice of souls will bring a new start. Whether you like it or not. Now, Cordelia, join us, if you please. Cordelia the Reaper. I knew that Dougal wouldn't confront me alone. Surprise, surprise. It's been a long time, Shadeless. Back to Duran already. I heard you were on a mission up north. Unluckily for you, it was just an old chimera. One that would not accept that their time had come. But you and me here, it's going to be a different story, no? You feed off the misery of your own kind. Like the vilest of scavengers. Shut up, you bastard! You don't deserve a place in Dougal's new world. Come on, Shadeless! Summon her! 
so you can have your sadistic pleasure. Never! Enough, Cordelia. Your services as a Reaper are no longer needed today. But why? This traitor deserves no mercy. And he won't have it. Look closely. You chipped his crystal. It won't be long before he transcends. All the more reason to end him, your grace. No, not yet. I have other plans for him. The Shadeless will do my bidding once again, for the last time. As you wish, your grace. Stop! You don't belong here. You have no right to his memories. Not that it matters anyway. We'll all be gone soon. Father and I, you two, your wretched order, this world, and all its filth. There's just one last thing that I need to do. Father, I forgive you. You can rest now. I will relieve you of your burden. Do not resist. Do not oppose my will! No! Don't! There is no justice! There is nothing to gain in all this death! It is. But do not let her cruelty unnerve you. We must stop her, no matter what. <sighs> this feeling, for the first time, it feels like my fate is in my own hands. And with these very hands, I will crush you. You're crazy. You have brought forth your own destruction. You are just like Father. You always think you know better, but I am no fool. Unlike him, I am aware of the consequences of my own actions. My new body won't be able to contain this power for long. But long enough to put an end to everything, starting with you!
has only caused it to grow. And once it's released, we'll take it. No! We will be annihilated! Flint, we managed to absorb the masters of the Upcanners. Even before we transcended ourselves, I know that we can make it. But I'll need your help. It's crazy!
You... You are just setting us free. While you remain trapped in your cage. Father, wait for me. Judge, forgive me. What happened? My head hurts and spins in equal measure. Ah. Ah. Briar! Loot! Is it you? It happened again. Yes. But do not worry for us, Maiden. Not for now, at least. How do you feel? Do you remember? The last thing I recall was Donovan making his way to the relic. Poor soul. I can't but feel pity for him. And even for his daughter. Anyway, then came a blast and I blacked out. I suppose that's when you... Transcended? Yes. Eventually. Once Hera gave in to the destruction within her, we had no other choice. Between death and transcendence, a chimera chooses death. Those sounded like wise words. At the time, it looks like I was the fool. But the dare, the dare is no more. How did you seal it? We didn't exactly seal it. We drained the relic of its power. So that now, that power lies within you. This fool. Our corrupted blood must be helping us contain it. We do not know exactly how, before how long, or what would happen if we turn back to our previous selves. The situation is dire, and the danger is great. Yet again, what you did, I can't but thank the Keepers for... No. I have to thank you for it. So what do you propose? What course of action should we take now? Hide. Survive. Try to... adapt to this new condition of yours. While you draw breath, there is still hope for this world and for Dougal's plan to be thwarted. The two things are strictly related. As for me, I will send word to Rhyme. I will set up my stage once more. They shall be surprised to see that I still stand. Or simply disappointed. Won't it be dangerous for you? They would come for me anyway. I'd rather be their first target, instead of you. I can buy you some time. If things go my way, I may even be able to help you. But I can't make any promises. At least promise that you'll be careful. I will.
May the Keepers watch over you, my friends. never see you again. The torchbearer led you back to me at a most convenient time. I have a very important message for you to deliver. There you go now, to rhyme. for a corrupted creature, and my instinct got the best of me. After all, who could roam these ruins, if not one that carries their taint? You must have a good reason to be here, alive. Cordelia? Cordelia the Reaper? I'm... Sorry, my lady, but the chimeras that came before you, they're no more. I'm afraid you're too late. Or maybe I was right on time. What lies did you write in that letter? Where are they? Don't be so reckless, my sweet reaper. Once the Torchbearer takes them, the dead can only tell us so much. I will have a friendly conversation with our devoted observer. While you give chase to Briar and Loot. They won't stand a chance, Your Grace. <laughs> Approach them with that attitude, and you'll face the judge in no time. It's not time yet. Follow them. Learn what they're capable of. Then report back to me. As your grace commands. So, Leighton, I assume your letter was addressed to me. Speak then. What did you wish to tell the Grand Master of the Ashen Blade? You know that you were meant to die here with all the others. Did you expect that I would fall for any of your pretentious tales? Let us speak the truth for once, then. They stopped you, Dugo. Admit it. The outcasts did what no one believed possible, including me. Those peasants did exceed my expectations, yes. But all they have accomplished is just a small setback. A detour from a path that cannot be abandoned. But why? What did you hope to accomplish here? You would not understand, or anyone else in your sanctimonious triarchy. But you do not need to. It suffices that you recite your beloved canticle. The three cities still stand to this day for the glory of the Keepers. Are those... tears? Pomodoran? And Rhyme? Dugal, you madman! What have you done? The Solstice of Souls is upon us. 